So, this is your idea. Yes, um, because there's this uh, small um, craft and toy store. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I was there at one point, and we saw this. Mm -hmm. So, we decided to pick it up next so, time we were there. Because it's a fountain pen, but it's only like $10. Nine, $9 um, plus tax, yeah. Nine dollars plus tax, around ten ish okay. dollars. Mm -hmm. So we are curious how well like a kind of baby's first fountain pen. Yeah. Like well, cheap and something, not necessarily a name brand or anything. Okay. Fountain so pen. What is it? it? Brand name that's on it says Uli. Uli. Right? I have not heard of that. And it's called Splendid Fountain Pen. Fountain pen, three black ink cartridges, and on the back it just shows a description. Choking hazard. Refills available at uli.com. I've not heard of uli, personally. Yeah. But it looks, you know, for, um, I think this was the only fountain pen the store carried. So it was yeah, kind of interesting to see Yeah, they also had like it. a calligraphy set thing, but... Dip pens, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but we have some dip pens here, so we didn't pick up dip pens. So it just opens up. We have then... some similarly priced pens to compare it to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to pull the pen out? Yes. Um, Let's see what it is. Pretty Looks good like a it. nice pen, though. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. It's got a couple of ink cartridges. Main thing I have to say at first, I don't... The main issue I have so far, just looking at it, mm -hmm. um, its cap has just a kind of plastic rounded mm -hmm. um, clip, which I'm not personally the biggest fan of well, in designs, but mm -hmm. it, it's, it's fine. Actually, you know, it, it's a nice looking it, pen. It though. does look pretty nice. It says Uli on the clip, and that's the only branding. It's what they would call a demonstrator because it's clear. You can hold it like this. Uh, it, it came with two, but I think they're, if I'm looking at that right, I think it has a, a cartridge in it. It has a cartridge in it. Is it a slip so, cap? So okay. comes with some more. As well. So, what do you think? What's the first impression of that? Mm. Honestly, nice that grip. nib looks... Looks good? Yeah. Looks pretty... Pretty good. good. I like the shape of it. Has a nice grip, almost like a... It has a rubber glip, grip, uh, yeah. Almost like a typical ink pen. I'm just going to see if it says what it is. It says it's a fine nib, and it has a nice point. Nice looking feed. So far, well, it looks you know, pretty good. It's kind of interesting how it's slightly wider down here. You notice that? It so kind of does is it interesting. Post? Maybe that's... Oh, it posts nice. Yeah. I kind mm -hmm. of like that, actually, because it gives a little, little... divot for your hand to rest in. Mm -hmm. So you want to put the ink cartridge in? So you un... let's take the... So... That comes apart. There's one inside the, the barrel, obviously. Is it? There it is. Yeah. Um... Interesting looking cartridge. Yeah. Kind of wider at the end. And so, yeah, so what happened, so we just put that in there, give it a little push. <laughs> Boom. Oh. There we are. You heard the Pop. nice snap. It goes in fairly, fairly nicely. And so... Uh, Sounds like it'll stay in. You know, yeah. For, you know, it, it's, it looks like a, a ballpoint in some way. I don't know if they make ballpoints, so... What you may need to do is get it going here. It might take a second to prime it, so give it a little shake yeah. like that. Don't hit the nib on the paper, just sort of shake it above. Yeah. And so far it's not writing. Oh, wait. There we go. Okay, you want to write with that? Just sort of draw or doodle with it, whatever. How does it feel? Honestly, it has a good writing feel. Mm-hmm. It... It's almost as if it's like a combination of a, um, as, it's almost a combination of a ballpoint mm -hmm. and a fountain pen. Actually, you know. Because it, it looks like a good fountain pen writing, but it feels very similar to a ballpoint almost, but very nice. And it doesn't appear to be breaking up much. Well, actually, I'm kind of surprised. Is that Honestly, a, that's a fairly nice feeling. It's pen. a fine line. That's a smooth writer. Oh, actually, yeah. I'm surprised that it writes so well. You know, uh, um, jumps over the... Lazy dog. And I, actually, when I write it with it... It writes surprisingly well, honestly. Yeah, that's actually can, a good... You can get some fine details with that. That would be a good pen for writing, of course. You like to draw a lot, so... 
But um, you know what? Um, I would say that for a ten dollar pen, and you know what? Actually, nowadays well, there's I'll no. See if it gets well, out. actually, well, nowadays there's no reason why a, a pen. You know, uh, they're making really good, inexpensive pens these yeah. days. So, like, this is a good writer. It's smooth. And Honestly, actually, there's I, almost a, a, it feels like there's a bit of spring to the nib because it, it's really a steel nib. Expect mm -hmm. it to mm -hmm. be that good, honestly. Well, because, it's a nice writer. You know, just because. Mm -hmm. It has a nice. Is there any, like, pressure difference as you write? Uh, there's no line variation, really, but it gives you a nice line. Really. A lot of good pens don't have yeah. very much line mm -hmm. variation, though. Yeah. Want to see if it cuts out? You can write with it reverse. Actually, it's a good re pen write writing reverse. I've, I have more expensive pens that when you write reverse, they're really scratchy, and this is very smooth. All, to, all in all, I'm quite surprised by this pen. Me too. I've never heard of it before, the Uli. Um, interesting little cutaway on the side of the nib, uh, on the side of the nib there, mm. right? It almost makes me... Looks like a some pens that I remember that are flex nibs sometimes have a bit of cutaway on the side, but I'm not saying yeah. this is a flex nib, but it, it it's reminiscent to say, uh, oh, you know, something like an Omni flex where they have a side cutaway. And Honestly, from there's my... a little nook there like that makes me wonder if it is meant to give it a little bit more spring because there there is yeah. a springiness to it, and if you, you know, it's not a it's a dry writer a dry when you scribble writer. with it quickly and you put your hand over the ink and it dries very quickly now if you we do also... scribble quickly you can kind of tell that it cuts out a little yeah. bit yeah so it's called it's by uli and it's called splendid pen and you know what it's nine dollars and it's actually a very nice pen yeah. to write with smooth pen i've you know and it has when you write with it it has feels like a little uh bounce to it now the thing say... is, it's a clip cap. The thing is, there's nowadays, you know, there are a lot of really nicely made, inexpensive pens. So how so does it compare is... to mm -hmm. another one around the same price? Well, we have two others in the same yes. price range. And this is probably, like, I haven't heard of Uli myself. But, yes. uh, and I, this is new to me, but I, it's a nicely done pen. Now, this is actually out. probably the most famous inexpensive mm. pen, and that's the Platinum Preppy. Um, now, Platinum is a Japanese brand that have been around many, many years, and they're famous for having, well, the Preppy, but also they have very expensive pens. I've heard about that pen quite a bit, actually. The, the Platinum Preppy, Preppy, yes. So this is like... Eight, seven or eight dollars in the same price range as the Uli. Now, P Platinum is a big, big company and they make pens that cost hundreds of dollars, right? Yeah. And they make Way too all different. For well, us. <laughs> well, they make all different price ranges and they make very good pens. The interesting thing about this one, it has a, a special um, slip and seal cap. There's a little. Uh, Oh, you're shaking the desk. The cat is here. You're shaking. The, you're shaking the computer. The cat's upside down. Careful, please. I'm Careful. Sorry. Okay, yeah. that was chaos. There's a little. If you look inside the cat, Sam, you can see there's a little cone, a little plastic liner, and that's so when the, you cap the pen, it pushes into that and it seals inside uh, around the nib. And that, so that it doesn't leak. So this, well, no, actually, it, it prevents the pen from drying out. Oh. So you could write with this. And then set it aside for a very long time, maybe even a year or more, and come back to it, and it'll still write. Honestly, that looks like a. It, it's pen. a great little in, in, uh, piece of mechanism, and once Just again. Just about the other pen, quick. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'd say the best way I can describe it so far, mm -hmm. just from seeing it, is it right likes a good pen. Looks mm -hmm. like a kind of cheap ballpoint. <laughs> it looks very opinion. much like a ballpoint pen. Yeah. In some ways. And yeah. if you want like a ballpoint looking pen that writes really well like a fountain pen, mm -hmm. that's a great option, honestly. Yeah, no, it's a good pen. You know, if you just were at your desk and mm -hmm. wanted a simple pen, mm -hmm. that's yeah. just like a now ballpoint, the preppy, it'd work. Now, interestingly enough, Uli or, or, uh, only has the name on the clip and they don't seem to have any other branding. Platinum, because it's a famous company, and the Preppy is so popular, uh, 
has quite a bit of branding. So it says Platinum Preppy, Made in Japan, Fountain Pen 03, and it's a fine. And yeah. once again, it's very similar pen in the fact that it um, is a cartridge filler. The, the interesting thing about this pen is uh, um, it's a cartridge filler. You could probably also put a converter in this if you wish, mm. but you can also take this pen, put a O-ring up here on the on the just above the threads, yeah. put silicone grease on the threads, and fill the body the body with ink, and then close it up, and you can eyedropper this pen very nicely. Uh. And and f so you go from a cartridge, which doesn't hold a lot of ink, to a body. That holds a, lo a lot of ink. So that's one of the neat things about the Preppy. That's one of the reasons it's so pre popular among yeah. the, in the fountain pen community. Also, it's an excellent pen, really. Oh, yeah. This is actually a very good pen, too. Surprisingly. Mm -hmm. I might and, actually check out Uli because yeah. I'm curious what they have done other See what than they, this. They might do other things. Now, so um, we're just going to pop that in. Which way do you put it in? It's been a while since I tried one of these. I but think it's that way. This way. There you go. It goes in nice and tight and gets it going. <laughs> and usually what happens with this is you can buy uh, a variety of colors and it usually has yeah. a cartridge set that matches the pen. Um, also, so that's our own yeah. red that matches. And I think it comes in fine, extra fine, medium, extra fine, fine and medium, I believe. There's three yeah. different sizes that I know of in the Preppy. And the Preppy is... Um, very popular pen. Very popular pen in the ink, in the pen community, and for good reasons. Quite yeah. often, somebody's first somebody's first uh, introduction to a fountain be, pen. Yeah, would be a preppy. I, I've heard a lot about it, yeah. honestly, from just overhearing conversations and stuff. Mm -hmm. How much line variation does this have? Uh, we'll see. And then we could do a comparison to this side by mm -hmm. side to tell a bit better. You know, you can push down. There's no real flex to it, but there's you can probably get it. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Let's take a little comparison to the to the pens here. Let's put them side by side. This one's definitely a bit bulkier. It's a bit long, just a little longer. Um, a bit more. Uh, sleeked off and a bit less mm -hmm. sharp, honestly. Yeah, nibs are about the same size. They're yeah. both a fine. Um, there's a bit of decorative scrolling they on this one. They have fairly similar detailing. Yeah, yeah there's a bit, a bit of a uh, little bit of branding on the pep peppery. There's a bit of scroll work here, as you can see. Now, there's also yeah. let's see. There's another one here. Another. Uh, this is a prefonte. A uh, prefont. I guess is called and it's another preppy and once again it's just a, a it's very much the same pen as the preppy it's a just little maybe detail. a dollar or two more maybe it's pretty much the same price major differences is it's it's a solid dark color it's still transparent right preppy has a plastic clip the prefont has a metal clip as you can see it's quite solid same uh, uh, slip and seal mechanism inside or, or plastic liner that uh, seals the nib. So it also uh, ha uh, can go a long time without trying. Honestly, that and... makes sense because if you figured out how to do it with one pen, why not convert mm -hmm. it over to another yeah. if it's cheap and effective? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The nice thing about the Preppy, because it's clear, you can usually see... You can fill it with a different colored ink, and it's really attractive to have... Oh, yeah. Like So that's one of the nice things about the Preppy. This is a, a solid you know, green, but it's still transparent, and once again, it's a fine. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think? You try that. You try those and tell me which one you like the best. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That one's pretty nice. There it is.
How do you like that? Very nice, eh? That one's nice. And this one. Try that one. <laughs> Fits well in my hand. That's I like the down. grip. You have it upside down, right? Oh, yeah. So, I, I like the grip. You like the grip on that? The yeah. grip is kind of a nice little feature on that one, isn't it? And the cat's back. Fountain Pen Cat is back. She always comes to help with our videos, doesn't she? Yes. <laughs> Honestly, this one has similar line variation mm -hmm. capabilities to the Preppy. Mm -hmm. And... Honestly, I'd say they're fairly even. You would in say they're opinion. very In my I, opinion. I just like how that one kind of feels. And you like the I, feel I'm not of the biggest one. fan of how it looks. You don't? Okay. So, um, but overall, I'd say it writes well. Yeah. And for functionality, it's great. Mm -hmm. So I would say they all write very similarly. Yeah, yeah. they're all very And they're good. very smooth writers. This is actually a little bit smoother in some ways. Oh, yeah. And there's a bit of spring to it. These are both very good writers. Uh, excellent writers. In this some one cases. doesn't have as much line yeah. variation. Yeah. Though, there are some, as well. you know, what? there are some really expensive pens that you can buy that are actually not as nice as writers as these three pens. Yeah, because I've come across it's some... more just mm -hmm. aesthetic purposes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes it. there's just uh, for some reason sometimes you can find a good pen that has a troublesome nib or something it just doesn't write out of the box these yeah. write these write up these start writing as soon as you you ink them up that's a great thing honestly i kind of assume for this one mm -hmm. to like have like a the nib just to be slightly off so it doesn't rise well but no it it's works well made great. so it's a well-made pen and these are if you're interested in maybe getting a, a fountain pen just to try it out you're curious uh, you Those don't have to start off. Options. You don't have to start off with an expensive pen because yeah. there are excellent opportunities to buy very good pens at an affordable price. They're all and really good. You can f usually find uh, platinum preppy, the, the platinum preppy and prefont in most stationery stores that sell fountain pens. Yeah, and if this you one see I have that in, one, then... this one you you you'll probably see more and more of. It's a good pen. Yeah, yeah. if you saw it and you wanted to pick up a pen sometime. It's not a bad option. Yeah, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, what do you do? Um, like the video. Mm -hmm. Um, subscribe if you wish. Mm -hmm. Notification bell's a thing, I guess. Yeah. Don't quite get it. Yeah, <laughs> and you don't have to hit the notification. Yeah. But subscribe to the yeah, channel and... If you knew anything else about, like, Uli or, or something, then you uh, could mention it. Yeah, which, in the have comments. you used any of these? If so, let us know how you, you feel about them, if you like them or yeah. not. Uh, were they your first fountain pens? We'd love to hear you and have chats with you in the comments. And hope you have a good day. Thank yeah. you very much. Bye. Bye-bye.